Welcome to the weather forecast for the weeks beginning Wednesday, July 3rd and July 10th. I'm going to take a vacation next week. So, um, summer. It's been exactly six months since my last vacation. Friday, July 5th, night after the Independence Day celebration, we'll have a new moon, so you'll have nothing to go with your fireworks uh, on Thursday. Sun's pretty active, but the spots are kind of small, and nothing is hitting us bad right now. Drought conditions, things are a touch worse along the Front Range. <coughs> Definitely got relief in the south uh, west and out of the plains. Nationwide, things are a little worse in the Big Bend area, south New Mexico. Look at smoke. There are fires out in California and Arizona, but nothing impacting Colorado this week. For precipitation, that's why the drought got better. The um, <coughs> why, did, why do you get a tickle in your throat when the camera starts? I don't understand. Um, so there is a pretty good precipitation total sitting out in the western slopes. Let's keep those fires down. Let's get some back over here. Looking at the uh, climatology of severe weather, going through May, you can see it approaching the front range. Second week of July, <coughs> it's beginning to oh, gone cough. Uh, diminish uh, around here, but not much. Let me rock back. Uh, yeah, you can see it's closing down a little bit, but uh, actual severe weather is occurring out on the plains for Wednesday afternoon. Almost no convection from I-25 westward. So you might see some stuff pop up overhead today and move on out. For Thursday, general chance of thunderstorms scattered. Friday, everything kind of quiets down nationwide with a general few thunderstorms. So there's a severe weather to our east. We have a stationary front draped down the mountain range. Cold front continues to get a little reinforcement, keeping us cooler for Thursday. And Friday, the cool front's pushed down into Texas. We have north winds aloft, as you will see. So the Ensembles are looking good with below normal temperatures here uh, and dry conditions in the beginning. Uh, later in the period, um, into my second week forecast, looks like temperatures are going to go much more crazy. Here's Tuesday's water vapor satellite, and I'm always looking for better graphics to communicate this stuff. So here's weathernerds.org. Uh, welcome to uh, Longmont Public Media. Last night's thunderstorms on Tuesday, dry air across Colorado with a few things popping up. For Wednesday, we're significantly drier here with flow coming in from the southwest. Okay, let's put this in motion for a couple weeks. Realize that it's always said, at least since Christmas, 14 days, and it should have said 10. Um, <laughs> but all right. Now it really is 14 days. So here's our northwest flow going overhead. You can always get surprised by ripples kicking off thunderstorms that otherwise are very difficult to forecast. We're up to Tuesday next week and Wednesday still north flow. But look at that big ridge uh, building up over the west. And look at the center now forming, hitting Colorado. And that's where the heat starts to turn on. Yes, we have north flow, but we have a large amount of sinking air with this big dome of high pressure over the west into the 14th and 15th of uh, July. The high pressure center is almost directly here. All right, let's move on to temperature. So here comes the first cool front. See the thunderstorms popping up on Wednesday. Then another cool front pushes down largely east of the mountains until you get to the weekend and then all of Colorado gets a little relief uh, a little mix of cool and heat there's another cool front coming down on Monday the 8th so yeah we we get uh, we start this part of the time with below normal temperatures and then the heat starts to sneak in after the 10th it changes so we get heat coming back and we have thunderstorms just starting to come back. As you'll see, we're going to get contribution of moisture from barrel. Okay, and then to the 15th and 16th, the heat is really back above normal with our temperatures normal being at their peak. All right, so let's take a look at moisture. Um, it's dry at the beginning and it dries out further. Here's the first cool front. It's, it gets reinforced. And here comes the barrel 
to slam into Mexico right now, but it's trending towards Texas and definitely is affecting Brownsville and the Big Bend folks. <clears throat> bringing moisture, we'll keep an eye on this west as the moisture starts coming in. There's another system, we're going to talk about that in a moment. But the west kind of is low moisture amounts until after the 10th, 11th, then the moisture really increases in the western U.S., as does the heat. So that's going to be interesting. Um, muggy with thunderstorms and hot. Yeah, right at the end of the period here, atmospheric moisture is very high. Looking at dew points, they drop pretty quickly here after Wednesday. So hopefully we'll get some storms Wednesday afternoon. Um, but you can see with the deep dew points that we just had out there, that's why the severe weather is possible. Here comes barrel. <clears throat> and then pretty dry. Low 40s, mid 40s. And then 30s going on to the 9th and 10th. So yeah, we're not going to see an awful lot of storminess or convection going on uh, during that time period, even with the cooler temperatures. Yeah, not, not really going to be good. Here's the 10th, 11th, 12th. The dew points really start to push back in now and then. And the west moistens up. Here's the 15th. A little dry spot, but then 50 dew points aren't far away. 56, 56, up to the 17th. So, not much to show here. It's going to kind of remain dry over the next couple weeks, but here comes a barrel coming in towards Mexico, and it's just quiet in Colorado or through the 7th and the 8th. There's a little activity with the second front surge, <clears throat> but then quiet again. Here comes the next system, not yet named. It is an invest right now. And it comes where that looks pretty nasty too. This uh, should be a very uh, active hurricane season for the Gulf and the East Coast. Some say it's going to be uh, setting records is the forecast. The, I think the Hurricane Center has a high, uh, Weather Bell has a really high AccuWeather. I think they sing above normal uh, tropical storm activity. So we'll have a lot to talk about later in the summer and fall. For Independence Day, we have a high of 83, low of 51. That's about 4 or 5 degrees cooler than last year's Independence Day. Firework time, dark enough, about 9.45. At that time, temperatures will be dropping below 70. And uh, I haven't seen a lot of mosquitoes, so maybe we're okay this year. We'll see. Pretty clear as well, so you'll see stars, but no moon. Winds will be light out of the northeast, so it shouldn't challenge... Um, the storms, uh, the fireworks with uh, wind and like that, and storms should be pretty close to non-existent. Over the next five days, we have just a little precipitation east of the mountains, a little bit more in the southwest of the next 10 days, and that's as far as this tool goes out. So from the 3rd to the 9th, we stay below normal a lot of the time. We got 80s, 70s on Sunday with a pretty good chance of showers, that second surge. And then we start to climb, and then 92 on Wednesday next week, Thursday 95. Then I had to switch to a different source. I had to go to AccuWeather and take a look at their long range, which oh, I don't know how much I trusted because look at that, 102, 104. They actually had a 105 for Saturday and Sunday. I, I trimmed it off a little bit from that because 105 is our all-time forever record high. So I just... It's a big high-pressure system coming in, but I just can't see it being that strong yet. But we'll see. It'll be a neat thing to talk about when I get back. Here's Beryl, B-E-R-Y-L, coming uh, past Jamaica or over Jamaica right now, heading for Yucatan Peninsula and then up again with a trend. Originally, it's supposed to hit down here. The, now it's having a hit near the U.S. border. Some model runs have it going all the way up to Houston, so... U.S. is not out of the woods. Got to keep an eye on that. This is the uh, next one, the Invest 96L. You can see it's crossing the Yucatan a little further south, and the models had it really cranking up in the southern Gulf. Well, this has been your weather forecast. Uh, see you in a couple weeks. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.